Hello lovely ones, this is Anushka and welcome to your May Astrology and Tarot reading. Um, I just wanted to give you this little update to let you know what's going to be going on this month. So Uranus is moving into Taurus and this is really exciting, everyone's talking about it. So I'm going to be talking about that mainly in your astrology as I'm shuffling your cards this month. Plus I'm going to be doing a Uranus into Taurus special, okay, for each and every sign. And this is going to be a tarot reading plus a more in-depth look at the astrology. This reading is going to be available on my site and it's going to be available for only ATP. It will be paid um, because of the fact that I do so many videos and I think it's only fair that I ask a little contribution. So um, if you want to go to my website, I'm going to be releasing that video, the Taurus, I'm sorry, the Uranus and Taurus video special on the 15th of May. And I will include a link to that underneath every single monthly, I'll update them. Um, I'll also just release a little video letting you guys know that it's now out and you can go to my site if you want to check that out. Um, what else do I want to tell you? Okay, also a huge thank you to all you cancers out there. Um, thank you so much guys for all of your support and your interactions. Um, I get so much energy from you, it's beautiful. Virgo is another one, but cancer, you are right up there. And um, you know, I did say that I was gonna start doing um, mid-monthly updates for the signs that watch the most of my videos so cancer it's you so on the 15th you're going to get your um, Uranus and Taurus special and cancer you're also going to get your mid-month update which will be a, just a special tarot reading for you guys just as a big thank you um, I, I very much believe in reciprocating energy so I really appreciate that I'm um, really excited about this transit, uh, it's a big deal, that's why so many people are talking about it and um, I think we're going to see a lot of revolution, evolution and people seeking freedom in some really amazing ways and um, some real leaps forward. So awesome, thank you guys so much for watching and now on to your monthly. Hi Gemini, welcome to your May 2018 reading with me Anushka. Um, as you can tell I'm a little bit under the weather hence my voice but um, I wanted to get these readings out. So. Yeah, um, we have got Uranus moving into your 12th house into Taurus, which is going to bring some really interesting developments in terms of your own personal freedom, in terms of your spiritual understanding, and in terms of any um, issues surrounding um, addictions, bondage, um, and things to do with mental institutions, imprisonment, spirituality. Um, this is a period where you might find yourself needing to have long or extended times of isolation in order to uh, process things that you're going through um and you know this is it's a very it's uranus is incredible because it's always hard to predict exactly what uranus will do it will always do the unexpected but it will bring about certain breakthroughs and this transit can actually mark very big things happening in your life um that highlight where in your life you have self-sabotaged or felt trapped or been stuck and it will really really bring these things to the forefront so that you are able to tackle them and deal with them come to new understandings about yourself as a result when um when when Taurus, when sorry uranus moves into taurus on the 15th of may we're also going to have a new moon in taurus so it's almost like emotionally we're being prepared you know there's this new fresh Taurian energy that's ushering in the change of Taurus, um, of Uranus into Taurus. So we're going to have a new moon there. So it's going to be the beginning, it's the beginning phase of something you're going through and we're being prepped for it emotionally. Um, you know, the moon rules our emotions. So it's almost like a, this emotional reset button as we move into this Uranus and Taurus phase. And he's going to be there until November this year. Um, later on in the month, you've got a full moon in your seventh house. Um, in Sagittarius, so this brings relationships to the forefront, one-to-one -one partnerships to the forefront. Um, we had before that, well, just at the end of March, we had a full moon in Scorpio, which would have highlighted thing, areas to do with health, day-to-day, -day, and your work. But now, you know, now the moon is, is moved into the seventh house, so it's going to be more about relationships. But what I expect to see when we do your cards is to, to see some sign of Uranus moving into your twelfth house. Um, to do with patterns, restrictions, um, sacrifice, freedom, that kind of thing. I've already pre-shuffled the cards, okay? So we're gonna do the same again. We're gonna do the Celtic Cross. Okay, so this is the beginning of the month. This is now, and how we're entering. So you've got the Eight of Cups there. Oh, how interesting, haha, <laughs> the Hermit. Okay, so already, Gemini, you're saying, I know that I'm going to have to go inward. I know that I'm about to start a spiritual journey. Okay. And then your recent past. This is nice. This is victory. The six of wands. 
and then your near future um, strength in reverse and what it is that you're trying to bring it into your existence what it is that you're what you're aiming for and what is at the root of it oh wow well, get you magician you are a, you are you are manifesting a field gemini that you guys are really in touch with the energy this month um it seems to me like you're very you guys are gemini's got like the the you know the <laughs> wits about them this month okay and then this is so funny taurus pulled the empress in exactly the same position but it was reversed you've got some major arcana going on big time which doesn't surprise me i'm trying to line these up so that they're um lined up with the camera yeah it's okay um which doesn't surprise me because you are we're talking 12th house and 12th house to me is is major stuff it's major arcana stuff it's major archetype energy okay so this is you right and how you are in, in the environment this is the environment around you queen of wands this and then we have your hopes and fears okay and then final outcome this makes a lot of sense right okay i'm gonna pull just another clarifier there okay gemini as you can see i've got two extra decks with me here one is the diane cooper angel cards i've had them since i was 17 years old i like to use them every now and then um so we're going to pull an angel card as um, a word of advice vulnerability is what you've got in there which i really like that speaks to me of 12 house matters and then golden palace oh i like that okay and i don't i want to show you the imagery on there these cards are so beautiful they're called the enchanted map by colette baron reed they're absolutely stunning and i just love the imagery on them it's just so magical and dreamy actually if we put him on top of that okay and let's begin your reading gemini Gemini, you are coming in strong this month and um, there's this nice mixture of intuition and action and clarity of thought and purpose that I'm seeing for you here, which I really, really like. But there's also something, there's something that you're searching for. There's something that is not amiss, but there's something that's propelling you towards forward movement and forward momentum, as there always is for all of us, but it seems like you're particularly clear on this. You know, sometimes we can amble through life not knowing exactly what it is that's pulling us forward, but it seems like you know the next step on your journey. And the reason why I'm saying this is because you come in and we've got the eighth house represented here. So you've got the eight of pentacles. You're going in search of something. You're saying, yes, I have a lot of my cups full. I have been victorious in the recent past and I, I know my ability to manifest. I understand my ability to manifest. I feel abundant i feel i feel abundant i feel like i have been victorious i feel like i can hold my head up high and i know my ability to create my reality but yet there is something that i feel that makes me vulnerable see we've got strength in reverse here there's something that makes me vulnerable there is something that is missing and i have to go within in order to find it now this is interesting as well because we've got pluto mars and saturn in your eighth house um in capricorn and they're both retrograde so this is saying to me that gemini you guys are doing your you're you're doing work that is to do is psychological work you might be looking at your shared resources you might be looking at sorting out your shared resources you may be looking be looking into the ancestry um and the past when it comes to your family especially as it relates to female family members and there's something that you're delving um, you're delving, diving deep on and you're digging into and it's almost like Gemini is saying, yeah, things, things have been good and I feel, I understand um, what I have, I understand that I'm blessed, but there is something that is causing me that is, is, is inspiring me to go and search within. Now the sun is in your 12th house, which also tends to be a time of reflection, a time of looking over the past year before your birthday comes along and just, you know, looking at the lessons learned, looking at how things could have been done differently, looking at how you've grown, how far you've come, reevaluating basically your life to a certain extent. So this it, this speaks of hermit mode and it's also this hermit mode also speaks of Uranus going into your um, 12th house because ultimately what you're striving for is a greater sense of balance you want a greater sense of balance that is in your control but I feel like some of you you know like I said issues to do with addiction issues to do with feeling not doesn't even have to be addiction but issues to do with feeling trapped um, not knowing which way to go 
not knowing which choice to make, feeling stuck, these are going to come up. And I feel this outcome, these two outcome cards on the reverse are interesting. I think um, what you're going to find, Gemini, is a lot of you will be taking a journey over the next, um, well, until November, where Uranus is in Taurus. Um, and then he kind of, he goes back into Aries for a while and then he comes back into Taurus. And I feel like you're going to be taking this journey over the next, you know, seven, eight years, depending on six and a half to, sorry, eight years, depending on your own personal natal chart and the size of your houses. Um, but I feel like a lot of you are going to be taking a journey of looking into the past to see, to examine, um, childhood wounds or to examine, um, where you have sacrificed a lot. For people or for situations, looking into issues of sacrifice, looking into issues of the past, of self-sabotage, of feeling trapped and feeling restricted. Um, you'll be looking at that in order to gain a deeper sense of understanding of yourself so that you can move forward with more of your energy behind your actions. This is because that kind of came to me as I looked at these cards. I felt like I just I just I heard Gemini wants to have more of themselves behind their actions um, and what I mean by that is when we have a more wholesome understanding of ourselves when we're able to clear um, certain issues that we have or certain patterns of thinking that hold us back we're able to shine a light on them we're able then to bring more of ourselves it's like soul retrieval we bring more of ourselves into the present rather than leaving that piece of ourselves living in the past recreating the same experiences over and over and over again this is why things like soul retrieval you know, and self-examination can be so important because you bring a part of yourself that's been stuck in a certain time loop now into the present. And I feel like that's what Gemini is saying. It's saying, I am, I know that um, I have much to be thankful for. I know I am abundant. I know I am blessed. I have, ooh, I am, I have love surrounding me, but I want to be stronger. I want to find a deeper sense of myself and bring all of me into this present and I'm willing to go in search of that. I'm willing to go on that spiritual journey and this may very much be something you're not consciously thinking but I'm, um, trust me Gemini, you will see over the course of these next few years how issues of feeling trapped, stuck, powerlessness, sacrifice, um, addiction, all of these things will come into the forefront. Like I said, I'm going to be doing an in-depth video um, and release that on the 15th of May for each sign about Uranus in um, in Taurus. And it will be on my website, but I will give you guys a heads up about it on YouTube. But you're being called now to really go deep within. And I've seen some amazing things happen with this transit. I've seen people who weren't spiritual suddenly become really spiritual. I've seen people um, who kept on getting into the same kinds of relationships and didn't understand why, suddenly start looking into their past and suddenly go start to get insight into who they truly are and, and you know, really a higher understanding of themselves. And it brought clarity to the situation and clarity to why their relationships are the way they are. So this will see things like this happening, um, sudden awarenesses, sudden changes. This could see people coming into your life that represent that victim mentality. Somebody who might be um, emotionally unbalanced may come into your life in order to perhaps put you more in touch with your own emotions. So you might be dealing with people who are confined in some way, who are imprisoned, who are who suffer from mental imbalances. And this is interesting because you know here we have Temperance, which is a card to, which is very much about balance. It's about emotional balance, and this could see you, you're going into that realm, that area, that house of. Um, of emotional imbalance, especially with Uranus there. It can be about emotional imbalance, emotional upset, confinement. Um, and so this is the area of life that you'll be exploring. And I feel like, you know, the reason we've got your hopes and fears here, and um, we've got the six of wands, is you're saying, I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to fight my lovers. I don't want to struggle. I don't want, I don't want relationships to be tough anymore. And we've got that full moon in Sagittarius at the end of the month. There may well be a um, an event that really highlights this for you with your partner or with a potential partner or with a business partner or a friend that you're saying I don't want to fight I don't want to struggle I don't want to have miscommunication I don't want to I want to live that life that charmed life where I'm able to be me where I'm able to give and receive love to 
give and receive, to know I am abundant, to have all my cups filled up and to feel victorious without there being a shadow side to self that I'm unaware of that plays out in my relationships. And how do I go about finding out what that shadow side is? How do I go about illuminating that shadow side? I go into myself. I become the hermit and I, I, I take, I answer the call to go within and become the hermit. And I will draw to me experiences of, um, of imbalance, of, of perhaps feeling stuck, of perhaps not knowing which way to go, of feeling trapped. Um, I'll be looking into the past in order to explore. So on, you might look at this and think, oh, well, this is a really bad reading, but it's not. To me, this reading is really, really, really just reiterating Uranus, uh, the, the activity of Uranus moving into your 12th house. And I love the fact that you pulled vulnerability um, because I, it, it really takes a lot of vulnerability for us to sit and be um, present and honest with ourselves, present and honest with our fears, our failures, uh, where we hurt ourselves, where we sabotage ourselves. Um, it, co it takes a lot for us to do that. And in actual fact, to be vulnerable is to be strong. Do you see what I mean? So to be vulnerable is to be strong. And it takes a lot of strength to do that. But sometimes, in order to do these things, we have to go through a feeling of being weak. We have to think we are weak. We have to think there's something wrong with us in order for us to, to actually do that self-exploration then we realize there was nothing never anything wrong with us in the first place and the fact that we've even taken that journey speaks to just how courageous we are i'm going to read this to you vulnerability only the brave and open-hearted dare to allow themselves to be vulnerable for it requires courage to take down all walls and expose your humanness your angel guidance is to become aware of your defense mechanisms which keep you separate from others and the divine ask your angels to help you dissolve your masks and barriers so that your fragile true self can emerge like a butterfly from its cocoon. The reward is freedom, love, and a sense of inner safety. So dare to be vulnerable and open. Affirmation, vulnerability is my strength. I love that. I love that. And I think, Gemini, a lot of you guys are going to see yourself becoming more vulnerable. And it might be in ways that, because Uranus brings about changes and events that on the surface can seem shocking, or they, 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 they might seem like, um, like they're really inconvenient. Um, it may be that you get with a partner who, like I said, has, has got some sort of emotional imbalance, or it could be that you get with somebody who is in a prison, um, you know, is imprisoned. Um, there's a sense of restriction around your relationships or around um, your your environment or your life experience. There's a sense of restriction, of strength, a sense of um, not having the freedom that you perhaps want, but you will desire it so much. And it's because of that desire of freedom that you will have these moments of such awakening and you'll emerge a far more whole being. And a lot of you will really go down a very, very devoted spiritual path, or maybe not even very devoted, but you'll start doing things like writing a journal, exploring esotericism, things that you would never have done before. Finally, you pulled um, from your enchanted map, oracle cards, you pulled the golden palace which is about abundance, it's saying I have enough. And I like this. This to me is, is basically like, the universe is saying um, to you, Gemini, you have plenty. You can afford now at this point, you've worked hard, you've, you've progressed. Um, you, now you can afford, it is your time to take time for yourself. You have plenty of, you have enough in terms of resources and things like that. You have enough to now be able to afford to go on this spiritual journey, to be able to delve deep, um, to be able to concentrate on releasing yourself from the ties that bind you, releasing yourself from addictions, from codependent habits, those kinds of things, releasing yourself from themes of sacrificing for the good of others constantly. It's almost like you're, um, I see you being invited into this palace um, and it's almost like you're going on this, this, pilgrimage to this palace where all your needs will be taken care of all you have to do is do the work that is important for you to do all you have to do is follow that path of um, understanding yourself more deeply and um, going into yourself and releasing anything that you feel um, binds you and ties you up um, so it's nice, it's nice, it's like the universe is saying you are provided for, you can go down this journey and don't worry, we'll hold everything else together um, so that you are able to 
get the insights, the learning um, that you need on this next phase of your path. So I hope you enjoyed that reading, um, Gemini. Um, if you want a, a private reading with me, then just click the link below this video. Like I said, I'll be putting up the May videos on the 15th, not the May, the Uranus into Taurus videos on the 15th. I'll pop the link under here on the 15th and I'll also release a video, just let you guys know. All right, much love to you all. I hope you have a wonderful month. Bye.